Kelly, police have not arrested anyone yet, but with a description and a sketch of the suspect having been released to the public, people in St. Albans are on high alert. What a shock. Yeah. To those who call St. Albans home, news of a woman being sexually assaulted here in Taylor Park is an unwelcome surprise. The female advised she was walking late at night alone. Um, she advised that she came across a couple people. Um, as of right now, we don't know who those people are. And St. Albans police released this sketch of the suspect who allegedly approached the victim as she was walking through the park. Police say she was able to fend him off, but not before being grabbed and verbally assaulted. Well, it's a regular park area. So, you know, it's a lot like Burlington downtown area. Um, a lot less people, less businesses, but, you know, there are dark spots with uh, weak lighting and things like that can happen. Taylor Park is right in the center of downtown St. Albans, so for those who work across the street, news of the assault is a bit disconcerting. It's a big surprise. I mean, I was born and brought up in St. Albans, and never in a million years would I think that that would happen in the park. There's a high school right nearby, and people work late, and especially a lot of young women work late around here, and that's scary that, to know that somebody got away with doing that so early in the evening. Both women we talked to say they walk the streets to and from their cars and shops regularly. But we'll do that now with caution. My sister's recently moved back. I'm calling her up to say, don't go for a walk alone anymore. It'll at least make me pay more attention to what's going on around me. The suspect is being described as a five foot eight white French Canadian male with dark hair in his early 20s to 30s. Anyone with information is asked to contact St. Albans Police Department at 802-524-2166. Kelly? Aaron, thanks.